Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Living Wealthy. Beyond well-being, the fun begins. Wow, it's uh, we had a break, and that, uh, and it's like I have missed you. I have missed. I missed the prosperous divas. I missed the conversation, even though I've been in conversation. But I, it, it, there's nothing like uh, being together. Now tonight's workshop. Beyond uh, is, we are focusing in on beyond well-being, the occurring world of commands and declarations. Last session, we started the inquiry into the world of commands. And we have a special treat, special, special, special. We have a going beyond interview with Judy Morris. And guess what? Punctuate, reveal. Uh -huh. So you want to <laughs> check out some of this. Now we have the energy, integrity, power builder. And, you know, I, I am beyond excited. Beyond excited. So I better give it over to Diva Rock. <laughs> well, I'm beyond excited, too. Thank you very much, Ronnie B. And thank everyone for joining us tonight for session number four of Living Wealthy. Beyond well-being, the fun begins. <laughs> the prosperous divas stand for equality, mutual respect, valuing the unique and divine contribution of others, honoring life in all its wondrous expressions. What are the possibilities and intentions you hear in those words that are in alignment with your living beyond well-being? What words are consistent with your deepest and highest desires? It is a pleasure having you here tonight. I learn about myself from your participation. I get to grow in areas that were hidden from my view all because of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before I share the intention of the seminar, let me introduce the rest of the Prosperous Divas. Diva Nikki, thank you for being here. What is the occurring oh, world... <laughs> what is the occurring world you are creating for yourself and the participants tonight, Diva Nikki? First of all, I'm bringing the joy. Yay. Second of all, I'm so happy to be here back with you all again tonight. And what I am creating for myself and the participants tonight and what's occurring for me is if we can, if we dare to declare it, then we dare to become it. And if we dare Ooh. to become it, then we shall be it. Sweet. Thank you. Wow, that's great. I think you put some thought into that. I did. <laughs> Diva Nakia. Oh, thank you so much, Diva Nikki. Sorry. Diva Nakia, thank you for being here. What is the occurring world you are creating for yourself and the participants tonight? Thank you, and I am excited to be here. So for Yay. myself, what I'm creating for myself and the participants tonight is excitement, mm. intentional listening, mm -hmm. and transparency as mm -hmm. well as being open Got it. to whatever there is for me to receive and whatever there is for them to receive as a result of their engaged and active participation. Wow. All right, that's some serious creating, Diva Nakia. Thank you so much. And Diva Janice, thank you so much for being here. What is the occurring world you are creating for yourself and for the participants tonight? 
Well, I am delighted to be with you all tonight and to share with everyone what I'm creating first for myself is my capacity, uh, expansion, personal capacity, and embracing my divine magnificence and teaching others that it's okay to be like God because you are like God. Uh, mm. We are creators of our universe and we have been given dunamis, which is that miracle working power to transform any situation. So I'm excited to be able to share words of encouragement for others to be courageous and expand. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I got I got goosebumps. Oh, but I, I got goosebumps too. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, oh, Ronnie, we yeah. just didn't want to leave you out. But okay. <laughs> thank you so much, Diva Janice. Diva Jacqueline, thank you so much for being here. What is the occurring world you are creating for yourself and the participants tonight? Thank you so much for having me here. Mm. Um, the occurring world I am creating for myself is a world of and for myself and the participants tonight, is a world full of accountability. Accountability for the things that I say and mm -hmm. the actions I take. The accountability for my hidden butts. <laughs> Even uh -huh. though they are hidden. <laughs> they were <laughs> hidden. <laughs> now that I am aware that they are there, even though they are hidden, I am going to take accountability for those books and transform <laughs> the way that I speak to myself about myself. And so that's mm. the occurring world yeah. I'm creating for myself today. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you so much, Diva Jacqueline. And welcome, Judy Morris. We go back. Yeah. <laughs> we <We're> way back. <laughs> Way back. Thank, Judy, thank you so much for being here. And what is the occurring world you are creating for yourself and the participants tonight? The occurring world I'm creating for myself and the participants tonight is win-win lifestyle. Mm. Wow. I got it. Goosebumps again. Good. <laughs> It Me got too. through. Thank you so much. So we will hear much more from our guest as we move through the seminar and during the be going beyond interviews. Judy, it really is a an honor and a privilege and a delight to have you here. Mm. So thank you to everyone. And the occurring world I am creating for myself and the participants tonight is our stand. I am creating equality, mutual respect valuing the unique and divine contribution of others, honoring life in all its wondrous expressions. The intention of this seminar is for each and every one of us to create breakthroughs in our ability to create breakthroughs for living wealthy and specifically for going beyond well-being. I'm going to say that again. It's for each and every one of us to create breakthroughs in our ability to create breakthroughs for living wealthy and specifically going beyond well-being. So tonight, we invite you to listen powerfully for what is needed and desired for you to have a breakthrough in being whole and complete honoring your word as yourself, as an access to going beyond well-being. Now, unfortunately, we can't read all your emails, chats, and phone messages during the webinar. However, I am going to read a few of your messages, and then each diva will respond to a different message. So, beginning with Samantha Evans of Deer Park, Michigan. Hi, Divas. I love Diva Jacqueline. She drops these beautiful bombs of wisdom on us, <laughs> and my mind explodes. I want all these great things in my life, 
and there is always a but or an excuse for why I don't or can't have it. Great work, divas. Carlton Lopez of Brooklyn, New York writes, Love you, divas. Thanks, divas. I am starting to see areas where I send the universe contradictory commands and the confusion the confusion it causes in my life. I want my children to behave better, but I don't want to spend a lot of time disciplining them, which turns into no time. Yes, I have buts. I work hard. I'm tired. Hey, empire is on. Blah, blah, blah. Now I see I can now see I need to be consistent in my actions or I thwart my own commands. This seminar is great. You ladies are the best. Whoa. From Cheyenne Hidalgo, Port Arthur, Texas. Dear Divas, the exercise was interesting because I knew there was no way I was sending the universe contradictory commands because God knows what is in my heart and is taking care of my desires. I was dismissing the exercise as being irrelevant to me. For some reason, I asked a dear friend who serves on, on a church board with me what she thought about the exercise and if it, if it ever occurred to her that I was contradictory. I was shocked when she said, all the time for over 10 years. I couldn't get mad at her because she tells me the truth, and I asked. Then she said, why do you think you don't have a man? You keep saying you want one, but you have a reason why this one isn't right or what you don't like. After she said that, I realized I have a lot of what Diva Jacqueline called hidden butts. Thank you and bless you. Ashadia Wahid, I hope I said that right, Chicago, Illinois. Divas, this conversation you have with us is very inspi inspiring and insightful. I love that you include spirituality and faith in your conversations, especially the way the Empress of Faith shares herself. I feel a little put off with Diva Nikki. Does she only speak to, quote, believers, unquote? I am not a, quote, believer, unquote. I pray for all people regardless of their faith. Today I can see I do have the power to command and I need to be more aware of what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Many blessings. All right. And from Nika Nakashima of Osaka, Japan. Prosperous Divas, I have gained many insights from the inquiry about conversations. A light bulb went off when you said that it is a natural, excuse me, that it is natural for a conversation to disappear. I am building a business empire and I only share my ideas with a small group of people. I see the smaller the group, the more likely my conversation for having a business empire will disappear. I am also seeing that if I love someone, it is easy for that conversation to dis disappear. I am expanding my groups so my ideas and dreams can stay alive. Wow. Diana Brenner of Orlando, 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 Florida. Divas, I have been listening to much of the conversation as being Transformation 101, which means, quote, I already know that, unquote. Quote, <laughs> I'm going to skip doing all the quotes. There are several here. So, um, Divas, I have been listening to much of the conversation as being Transformation 101, which means I already know that. They are just using something from Tony Robbins or another program or Good for them. What I realized is I have become a transformed fool. I know so much, but practice so little. Yes, you work with a lot with you work a lot with the basics, and you keep going deep with the basics. 
so they become so their use become habits and natural ways of being this is really masterful masterful work i love it divas i am giving you 2 or 3 seconds to pick your email if someone grabs your selection first please choose another 2 3 diva nikki you go first thanks Thank you, Diva Robin. Mm, so you're I'm going to take on Diane Brenner, and I just want to share with you that I am one of those people that listen to like all the motivational speakers and like all the time, right? And just like you, I sometimes will say the same thing, like, okay, you know, I know that, or there's just a, it's just a repeat. So you're not alone in that. And what I have found is much like yourself is though we hear it a lot, we may not, and, and we may even know it, but we do not practice everything that we hear. So you're not alone in that. When you sing together, you are not <laughs> alone. <laughs> but, so thank you for sharing. And then just very quickly to address Mr. Waheed, um, I thank you for what you have shared. I just want you to know that I speak to all people, but I do have counseling and clients who speak to, speak to believers, to address believers. So thank you for that. And Diva Robin, back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Diva Nikki. And Ms. Judy Morris, um, please. Would you like Thank to comment you. on one of the emails? I would. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Oh, you, you don't have them available? Uh, we, we, the, we got an easy one. Uh, you can just say what's present. What's yeah. present? Yes, what's present on uh, what's present on this call right now is very much deeper than I expected. I'm looking at the words occurring world of integrity and integrity is one of my favorite things. And um, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing where people are coming from. And I just have deep appreciation for this program that goes out to the world. Thank you. Mm, wow. Thank you. And thank, thank you again you. for being here. It's lovely. And Diva Janice, please. Yes. Um, I'll go with Carlton. Mm. My goodness. Yes. Sending out contradictory commands. And I don't think a lot of people are conscious of how they cancel out good things in their lives. And we've all been guilty of this. And once we identify what the barriers are, we can get better at living. And what I would say to Carlton, as I would say to everyone, is of course you get rid of the but, you are divine. And when God places something into your life, he's already equipped you to get it done. You just have to find the courage, have intuitiveness, be faithful, and connect to the people who will help you develop because we all help one another develop. And when we're missing a developmental piece along our journey, we don't get there. So your command today is, I have all that I need. I will be open to everyone that God has assigned to me in this season so that you can be prepared for the next season and you can live your life full. This is mm. what I would like to share with Carlton. Tonight. Beautiful. And everybody. We need to be connected. Yay. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you, Diva Janice. Thank you. And well, Diva that Jackie. A, that was really a great example of a command. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Get connected. Yeah, that, that, that was a command. That, that, was, that was not a, well, we can kind of, it would be nice. <laughs> that was a mm -hmm, command. Mm -hmm. And it was yeah, clear. Yeah, great, great point. There was nothing contradictory in that command. That's for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks for pointing that out, Ronnie B. Very cool. And now, Diva Jackie. Thank you. Um, I wanted to send appreciation to Samantha um, for your uh, 
for you sending your feedback. But I wanted to um, address Cheyenne. Um, Cheyenne, you sound just like me. <laughs> Again, I didn't realize those hidden butts were there and that I was actually making those contradictory commands um, for the things that I wanted, especially with relationships. So say, I, you know, I want a man, but I know I can't get everything I want in one package. Mm. <laughs> I want a man, but I know that um, I would have to sacrifice or compromise in some way. And, you know, and you just have to just learn how to speak a new language. You know, I want a man, and I know the right one is coming to me. Um, I want a man, and I will know when he is the right one, when he comes to me. And just learning how to change that language and feel that that knowing that you can have what it is that you desire um, from a relationship or anything that you are making um, a statement of a declaration that you desire it in your life. Just Amen release to the that. second part of it. Just <laughs> release it. Just release it. Just make the command and then let it go. You don't have to justify it. And I think that's why the butts come up so so much because we don't believe we should have it when we make the declaration. Mm. Great. And then we have to justify it with the butt. Let's not do that. Thank you for uh, sharing with us, Cheyenne. All right, beautiful. And those bomb, those bombs keep rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep them going. Fine bomb. <laughs> And uh, last but not least, Diva Nakia. Wait, hello? Yes. Okay. Now I, okay. Now I hear you. <laughs> myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so for myself, I would like to, and I know Nikki briefly spoke to uh, Wahi, but I wanted to say first, um, thank you, Wahi, for your honesty and your communication. Um, whether it be to Nikki or myself, we always have the space to expand. And yes, I am a believer. I am a believer. And I, I believe in speaking to the world. I believe in speaking to everyone because everyone's walk is different. We all believe in a higher being, regardless of whether we choose to put a name to it or not. There's no judgment zone where I am and where there's communication. And none of us have an area of judgment. Um, if we did, we wouldn't be present and we wouldn't be able to really impact so many members of our community, so many listeners, so many of our family. And so when I share and when I'm transparent and when I'm authentic, not only do I speak as a believer, but I speak as a human being, someone who is simply being human, someone who is flawed, someone who is very imperfect, but I also feel that I'm perfectly imperfect. And it's about sharing and hoping that my contribution is something that is able to impact others or someone is able to see themselves or see something of value from my communication to the world. And there is full transparency. There is as much authenticity and transparency that I can put out there that where it, it doesn't, I have no shame. I have no reservations on anything that I'm sharing. So as long as people are getting fed and as long as people are able to be blessed by and gained by my my contributions, that is where I stand. So thank you for sharing it and thank you for being a part of the listening of our show. And thank you for being a contribution with your communication. And I would mm -hmm. like to share for uh, Ms. Diane Brenner, and we have all been through the transformation of I already know this and I already know that, of getting information from the studies of Tony Robbins and all of the other great speakers of the world. 
and we can all become and identify ourselves as being foolish or having foolery to some magnitude. And our practice is what makes us perfect. Our foundation is what creates us and allows us to build upon. If we don't establish that foundation, and if we don't continue to go back and revisit the foundation, then all that we have built will always crumble, will always fall. There will never be anything established foundationally strong enough to be able to maintain or hold the capacity for which we have to build, for which we have to give, for which we have to grow and grow from. So, yes. Okay, great. It's about becoming yeah. having habits and the natural ways of being. So thank you. Very nice. Wow. Thank you, Diva and Nakia. So I <laughs> I thank all of you for sending us your feedback. It is greatly appreciated. And what I see for myself and the prosperous Divas community from what was shared is the magnificence of human being that beings that really shines through when contributing and allowing ourselves to be contributed to. Thank you so much for all of your feedback. You transform our work from being a monologue to being a dialogue. And in the dialogue, what we say has an impact on you and what you say has an impact on us. So there. <laughs> so now we're going to have an inquiry into the power of command and declaration, which as you can see is already happening um, even in the other conversations we've been having so far. So over to Diva Jacqueline to start the inquiry. Diva Jacqueline. Thank you, Diva Robin. Okay. The power of your word, the power of commands and declarations. We're going to review the last session so we can deepen our faculty with commands and declarations. What do you hear when we say the power of your word? Do you hear, of course, words have power? Do you hear? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words would never hurt me. Do you hear? I've heard that before, and I believe it. Do you hear a bunch of airy fairy stuff that has nothing to do with producing real results? Do you hear? Think and grow rich. Zig Zyler, Wayne Dyer, or even Oprah. Oprah. Winfrey, I can't believe I messed that up. Miss Oprah Winfrey, forgive me. <laughs> whatever you hear or whatever feeling emotion you are present to is totally perfect. You are perfect. And wherever you are in this conversation is perfect. The power of command. It has been said, in the beginning, there was no thing. There was a void and darkness. Then the command was issued, let there be light. And there was light. And it was good. <laughs> There is no thing happening in our occurring world that is not the result of our word, our commands to the universe. Our divine powers are not a function of the physical universe. The universe is a function of our divine powers. The source of mischief in our lives is using our divine powers and sending contradicting commands 
to the universe. I really want that wonderful soulmate. And here's a list of all the contradicting qualifications that I don't see are contradictory. By the way, if you would like a hint at picking out any hidden contradictory, contradictory commands, simply look where you use the word but. I would love to be more outgoing, but I don't want to deal with any annoying people. Hmm. Even your best friend can be annoying. I want to open my own business and get paid what I deserve, but I don't want to deal with conflicts. Hmm. Maybe I'll just try a thousand businesses to find a business with no conflicts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that should be profitable. Our power of command is not a power over anyone or anything. Let me repeat. Our power of command is not a power over anyone or anything. Our power of command is a distinct power that focuses the indefinite energies of the universe through people, places, things, space, and time to fulfill the desired result. I'm going to share a parable with you that can provide a context for our exercise when inquiring into the contradictory commands. A man was trapped in his house during a flood. He began praying to God to rescue him. He had a vision in his head of, God hand, of God's hand reaching. Soon, a man in a rowboat came by, and the fellow shouted to the man on the, on the roof, jump in, I can save you. The stranded fellow shouted back, no, no, it's okay. I'm praying to God and he's going to save me. So the rowboat went by. Then a motorboat came by. The fellow in the motorboat shouted, shouted jump in. I can save you. So this, the stranded man said, no thanks. I'm praying to God and he's going to save me. I have faith. So the motorboat went on. Then a helicopter came by and the pilot shouted down, grab this rope and I'll lift you to safety. So this, the stranded man again replied, no, no thanks. I'm praying to God and he's going to save me. I have faith. So the helicopter reluctantly flew away. Soon the water rose above the rooftop and the man drowned. He went to heaven. He finally got his chance to discuss the whole situation with God. And at which point he exclaimed, I have faith in you, but you didn't save me. You let me drown. I don't understand why. So this God replied, I sent you a rowboat and a motorboat and a helicopter. What more did you expect? <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite stories. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> there are times when we contradict our commands because we disagree with how we perceive the universe is manifesting the results. We can be blind that the results we have are exactly aligned with our true intentions and commands. The work we do is so we can reveal the hidden agenda that keeps us from having our desires fulfilled with peace, ease, 
and vicinity. Hope I said that right. Velocity. Velocity. There you go. (laughs) I command that eyesight get better. Uh, Velocity. Let's learn a new word. We operate as if our word means so little when in truth it is everything. Now it's time to do an exercise. So it is time for the awesome one herself. Diva Nikita, over to you. And Diva Nikita. Sure. <laughs> oh, sure. I'll be Diva Nikita. <laughs> I thought you became a, I told you had a hybrid. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. I, I apologize. I, I, that's my apology. No, you're just. It is okay. You gave me an opportunity to. You gave me an opportunity to come in with a different entrance. Hello, thank you. I watched you come in with Nikita. I'm sorry, Diva Nikki. Over to you. No, you're not sorry. No, you're not. You're many things. You're right. And sorry is not one of them. Amen. I correct myself. Diva Nikki. That's okay. Diva Nikki. You get. Here I come. Diva. Thank Go you. Go ahead. Take over, Diva Nikki. <laughs> 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 I'm just taking I'm out. I'm going. I'm, and I'm just out of whack. Diva Nikki, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Diva Jackie. We're on the power of your word commands exercise. So, We have an exercise intended to empower you in distinguishing those contradictory commands. We have category one, which is relationships. Write as many relationships as you can, including partner, family, business associates, and even activity. Under each relationship, Answer this question. Where is the presence of love missing or not at the level I desire? Next, cross off your list any relationship where love is fully 100% expressed at the level you do desire. Next. To each of the remaining relationships, write three commands you give to the universe for having love present and fully expressed at the level of your desire and any contradictory commands. It's like Beaver Jacqueline says, look for those hidden butts. <clears throat> Robin, look for those hidden butts. Now the next step is making a declaration to the universe (laughs) that is unambiguous, clear, you call it bold, concise, but having the presence of love 100% expressed at the level you desire. Here is a simple format for declaration. (laughs) I declare. I declare I will exude love and joy whenever my wife comes into the house. I declare the prosperity I desire will be manifested easily, speedily, and with peace of mind. I declare my soulmates will make their presence known overtly and I will be open to receiving their love. Now, let me see what is present for the diva out of this conversation. Diva Robin, are you ready to get your butts out of the way and tell me what is present for you? 
I, I am so ready to get my bets out of the way. Let me tell you. Um, you found them. So um, I just want to say that, <laughs> that um, I have a deep, deep appreciation for the power of declaration. And I was introduced to it many years ago and has become so integrated into my life that it's it's almost automatic that when I see something available that I make declarations and my life is a reflection of that now. And it's so great to have the opportunity to look back and to see that like, wow, this is, this happened because I declared it. This happened, you know, I declared I would have a man like my husband in my life. And, and, and he did, he appeared. I mean, uh, that we, he and I created our house together the same way. Yeah, he, he was always and asking me how that happened. That's how it happened. <laughs> and I want you to know, I set it to pencil and paper too, pen, pen and paper. Yeah, I like to write my declarations down too. Mm. And then I'll sometimes I'll put them away, come back later, and see how they've manifested. Wow. In fact, right now, um, I want to take the opportunity to declare that my new book, Art Savvy 101, is destined to be a bestseller and my biggest legacy. (laughs) Yeah. And so it is. And so it is. here for you. (laughs) Thank you. I, I wanted to, I wanted to, since you threw that out there, Diva Robin, I uh, was present to a question. I wanted to know, did your husband also wish for you? Did he manifest you as well? I don't think so. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, you My should husband... ask. You should ask. Ah! When, yeah, when, I mean, not consciously, but um, the person who introduced us to each other said, he doesn't know he's looking, but he is. But when I found him, he he had a twin bed in his in his master bedroom. He his whole life had really been um about single for being single for a while. He'd been pretty hurt. Yeah. So yeah, I I'm that sure that he was not wish it. Oh, he yeah. was. That, no question. <laughs> <laughs> and he let me just tell you that you know, he is one grateful man. You know, we just keep growing and growing and loving and growing and loving and growing and loving. And, you know, we have breakdowns and breakthroughs and declarations and like that. He could be a diva. <laughs> we got to get him on the team. <laughs> there you go. Well, thank you for the opportunity to share that. No problem. Thank you for sharing. Always, yes, Diva Robin, we told you that this is your, definitely your platform for you to share your romance with us. And I present <laughs> Diva Janice, I know you have something awesome to share, so please tell us what is present for you. Thank you. Oh, wow, there's so many things to choose from, but let me tell you, I love this. This is what I live by every single day. I have what I call as my bucket list of declarations. Um, Because being so analytical, I get up every morning and declaring over my life. And I and I have at the beginning of the week my need assessments, and at the end of the week I have my measurements, so I can I can write off what has been achieved as a result of my engagement with the universe and making the necessary applied faith work a.k.a. work, to make it happen. And it's just so rewarding to know when you take courage to live your best life for you, how other people, no matter how negative they are, they are challenged to change. And when you are fulfilling the mission in every season, it's like, okay, God, I was faithful with that. What else are you going to give me? And I look for that. So my declaration for myself is, is to be courageous, and to take on the next challenge 
so that I can continue to evolve and help other people evolve. Because I like to have my circle of influence mm. well and he- and healthy. I like people being well and healthy because I like to have fun. I like to have money. And I want people in my circle to have the same experience so that they, too, will be able to pass it on. This is how we make the world better. So my declaration is, and what's present for me is that I continue and that I listen so that when I need to shift, I'm I'm flexible to shift. And when I need to stay strong in a, in a certain position, to stay strong because that's what's necessary. Um, so I'm excited about so many things. And my declaration is just being courageous and taking God at his word to help transform those who are in my circle of influence and helping others to do the same. I knew it. I knew you were going to come with the power and the, and the deepness. I knew it. Thank you so much, Diva Janice. And I receive that, and I'm sure others do as well, being in your circle of having fun Thank and you. having money. Yeah. You are a diva tonight, Miss Judy Morris. So do you want to share what is present for you? Do we have her? Uh, She's uh, Judy. You may be muted. Actually, it looks like you are muted. Do, 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 unmuted. Do. I unmuted it. Okay. Now, now <laughs> you are unmuted. <laughs> Ooh, way to go. Those, those Ms. Judy. Not me. No, I'm not, I'm not used to being muted, okay? You should never be <laughs> muted. You are one person who should never be muted. <laughs> well. Ms. Judy, do you receive that you are a diva with us tonight? Do you receive the diva who? <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> what is present with you right now, or for you, Miss Judy? Uh, well, you know, I'm just so I, I'm actually just in your world with all the heartfelt, no kidding, grounded mm. declarations that I'm hearing, and I'm hearing them. They're real. You're going to, you know, you're going to do even more than you ever thought. So, so my declaration is I will, I wrote it down and then I can't read it. Uh, I will authentically exude love and joy. The prosperity, okay. yeah, the prosper from right. there, the prosperity I desire will be manifested easily, speedily, and with peace of mind. Mm. Love it. And I have one about my soulmate. So I declare my soulmate will make his presence known overtly. And I will be open to receiving his love. Wow. Mm. Good stuff. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for sharing. Diva Jacqueline, declaration statement was present for you. I declare that I speak my dreams into existence. I declare that anything that I desire because I desire it because I and I'm is making me present to. I, I met this young man this weekend who told me a story of being in the car and having a dream of having a billboard. 
and he has a billboard. And on the billboard, it says, I speak my dream of existence. And doing everything else that he's doing, it was just a word. He just exhibited that and just seeing that, you know, um, and inspiration it was just so um, elevating to me to just pay more attention and again take the accountability to what I am. Want to share that? You're breaking up. You. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me. It's You're just a little off bit off and of on, off thing. and on. Okay, sorry, I don't know what part y'all didn't hear it. It was real. It was real choppy. So it was like we would hear a little bit and then not part of it. I, I tell sorry you what, do, well, do, do, <laughs> do over, quick do over. <laughs> Yeah, just okay. do a do a recap. I put yeah. my dreams into existence. Anything that I desire, I know that I can acquire, and I can acquire it because I desire it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be desiring it. <laughs> and what I was saying was, I wanted to share. I had um, ran into a young man this weekend who was telling me a story about him living in his car to having a dream of owning a billboard. And he spoke that dream into existence and literally on the billboard, it says, I speak my dream into existence. Mm. And just being present to him, using the power of his words in such a powerful way and what he has created and how strongly he um, is aware of his words just motivates me to be more accountable with what I speak into existence for me. Mm. So I just wanted to share that. Thank you for mm -hmm. letting me reshare. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Thank you. And that is powerful too. Thank you, Diva Jabber. Diva Nikia. Unmute your phone. I am present. <laughs> okay, so y'all have had a lot to share. And uh, for myself, um, one of the things I was standing in tonight was listening intentionally. And for myself, I declare that the one that God has declared for me to receive as my partner in this world, in this life, that he presents himself to me clearly and there is no hesitation or reservation. There is no mistake that he would be the mate that God distinctly designed and intentionally designed for me. And the other thing I declare is a level of peace in my life and within my home and my space, that it is pure and purged from all things that is not of God and not of that does not bring me peace and serenity. I declare that new relationships and friendships and a new level of authentic communication that is clear and bold and honest, truthful, is created in my life to where those people and those things that are not in line with the direction that I seek to go, that God has purposed me to go, is removed. And those relationships and and those relationships are created that would put me in the mindset in the in the space to continue to push forward. 
not deviate, not give up, not have the excuses, not be tired, and give me the courage, the boldness, the strength, and the fight to have workability in my life so therefore productivity and prosperity can be manifested, and it will. That's what I declare. Oh, one more thing. I declare that my son is going to have the best seventh grade year ever because he is so awesome. He has so much going for him, and he is like the most awesomest kid in the world. Yeah, I declare that too. Okay, go ahead. I'm good. <laughs> hey, seventh <laughs> grade. <laughs> <laughs> That's your boy. Okay, <laughs> Thank you all for sharing. Um, before we move forward with my own, now you know we cannot leave you out, Devo or Ronnie Dean. What is present for you in your declaration? Uh, what's present for me is how great you ladies are and, uh, uh, and how, like, if you've ever wanted to be with people who cared, cared about what they were up to and who they were involved with. And I'm, I'm speaking to the participants and listeners, because let me tell you, that is the space that these great, great ladies provide. I mean, they care. They, I mean, they care. They unnervingly care. Uh, we're setting up a toll-free <laughs> number uh, to, uh, so that people can, uh, so it's easier for, for you folks to connect with the, the Divas and Old Grumpy Radio and the Prosperous Divas Workshop. And uh, it, and it was it, what looked like a, a simple question ended up being something of deep thought because they care. It's like, no, you know, it, it has to meet uh, a, a certain level, which is, you know, for me, it's like up in the game of responsibility. So I, I'm just deeply present to just how magical and wondrous this group of ladies, uh, how, uh, that space they create, and how we all can play that game. So uh, that's what I'm present to. And I declare that we're going to bring the joy. Mm -hmm. I, that's what I declare. I got it. Yes. Thank Good you, Ronnie D. <clears throat> I am present to all of your declarations and your heart and your expression. And I stand in honor for all that you all just shared in your declarations, the sincerity behind them and the vulnerability and the humility that I felt from them as well. I declare that I will live a life and have a life of abundance that serves others from the overflow of my cup and my saucer, a life that honors my parents and glorifies God and serves others to the maximum, where I will not go to the grave with gifts and talents that was given to me to share with the world left undone. I declare that prosperous divas, prosperous diva will be a thing to be. I declare that we will be a movement and start a movement where not just us but others are living whole and, and full, full lives of well-being. I declare. Wow. Awesome. Uh, beyond wow. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing. This has been a deep 
an intentional part of the seminar. So we have a treat for you in the next segment, the interview going beyond with our special guest, Miss Judy Morris. We are so happy about this. So we're going to take a five-minute break. It is 6.02. Please return at 6.07 promptly so that we can go beyond with Miss Judy Morris. Divine order. My life is in divine order. I affirm divine order every day, many times a day. My affirmations do not make things magically happen. Rather, the words keep me focused on the truth of natural order. From this awareness, I remain in a place of intercalmness and peace despite outer conditions. This is no guarantee that life will be without challenges at times, but it means that if a challenge presents itself, I am able to call upon my inner powers of faith and wisdom. I affirm divine order and know that I have the power to reinterpret any negative appearance in my life. I affirm and know that whatever happens, there will be a blessing. With my positive affirmations, I invite positive energy and abundant blessings into my life and the lives of others. I am divine order. All things should be done decently and in order. First Corinthians 14, 40. Well, Trials and tribulations, love. I Mary, Mary, go. Kennedy, 
Oh, say I love the storm on the love. Well, welcome back, and we get to turn this back over to Diva Nikki. Well, we should be turning it back over to Diva Nikki. I was muted. (laughs) You know how we do. I'm going to have to have to go with Diva Robin. You ladies should never, ever be muted. <laughs> okay, Diva Nikki, over to you. Welcome back for Going Beyond. Tonight, we are interviewing none other than Feng Shui Master Judy Mars with a champion for humanity by her work in bringing the power of Feng Shui to, feng shui to everyone <laughs> and improving their lives. <clears throat> Judy has experienced the other side of the mountain, the valley, and the mountaintop, and has used those challenges to empower herself and others to see the world in ways that have them turn their dreams into reality, and we here for it, baby. Judy's work has touched the lives of people around the globe in connecting to those positive networks of energy that transform health and well-being beyond what is ordinary or acceptable. Judy is a champion for humanity. Before we start the interview, a little food for thought. Healing. My body is a temple of divine life and light. I am created in God's image, mind, body, and spirit. My mind is a reflection of God's light, and my body is a temple of divine life. I am whole. I am well. I am free. My soul resonates with the divine life that flows through every cell and atom of my body, and my spirit rejoices in a feeling of total well-being. I know that outer appearances of disease are only that, appearances. In truth, I am a child of divine life and light, and my body is a true reflection of the perfection of God. Day by day, moment by moment, I become a clearer reflection of the spirit of God within. My body is a temple of divine life and light, and I am grateful to God for the miracle of healing that flows through me now. And going beyond part one, We will learn about a challenge Judy faced in having her dreams fulfilled, a challenge that knocked the wind out of her sails. Somehow, some way, she kept going and used that challenge to give her strength that has made her successful in every area. She chooses to focus her time and energy. And going beyond part two, Nakia will continue the interview and look at the aha moment that opened Judy's world to transformative energy as a teacher, healer, and coach. Judy will share a couple of practices that will empower you and provide a few insights into what's available from Fu Shui. Ronnie B, over to you for the interview. <laughs> Thank you, Diva Nikki. And thank you, Judy, for being with us tonight. And Judy, we got to make sure we get the pronunciation correct. Feng Shui. It's not Feng Shui. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. 
Ding Chewy sounded like something I would order at a restaurant. The <laughs> Ding Chewy and uh, a side of those rolls. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. If, it's almost like it's really one word, even though there's a separation. Okay. Well, I, I thank you, and we do a pop. We yes, wanted to get that, we wanted to get that straight. We 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 couldn't step over that. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. Uh, so we will continue. Now, Judy, what we're asking is for you to please share an incident or time in your life that. Uh, uh, before I do that, before we get into the questions, because uh, it's already in my space. And, you know, one of the things that I just want to share is, is that uh, uh, now Robin and Judy, they they go back. Now, I don't go back as far as Robin and Judy, okay? But I don't feel bad, but I do go back with Judy. <laughs> and uh, one of the things I always love to acknowledge is that, uh uh, you know how in the Marines, uh, they, they have this thing where they say the pr the few, the proud. Well, uh, Judy uh, was one of the few, and I do mean handful of people in the world. And, you know, the world is like a big place with, all, with billions of people. And she was one of the uh, few people in the world uh qualified and and with the skills to lead uh the wisdom unlimited program and note i didn't say course i did not say it we do courses okay we do courses and seminars she had a program the wisdom unlimited program so many of the insights and what she shares and if you think about that unlimited wisdom mm -mm -mm. so i just wanted to share that and just thank you judy now and, and now with all of that you know in the space I'm gonna, now i'm gonna ask you a couple questions <laughs> what we're asking is for you to please share an incident or a time in your life that knocked the wind out of your sails when the going got even rougher and you felt like you were lost Please be as specific as possible so we can truly appreciate what you were experiencing. Where would you like me to start? I've had many, many, many experiences and they were really intense. And I went to, <laughs> I went to a lady who was a, um, a tarot card reader. So I, you know, I, I, I really searched everywhere for all kinds of things. I, I was diving into lots of very heavy stuff and the Bible in many different versions and so forth. And in my, in searching, and I'm single parenting my children and I, uh, you know, so I, I, a lot of things that was going on. I won't go into it. It's just, it just <laughs> overwhelmed. But I, I just, this tarot reader, she said, you know, she says, this is your last chance lifetime. You, this is your opportunity to finally get it right. So you better <laughs> get busy girl. And I went, okay. Yeah. And that's when uh, I signed up for EST and things opened up. And then I signed up for a lot of other things. And then I got my uh, college degree. And then I got, my, you know, I just kept kept anchoring out there. And I realized that I was learning how to chase a, an attorney down on a golf course, hmm. and get him to sign the deposition I had just typed up and how unbelievable that was i didn't real i you know i didn't realize it was unbelievable you just couldn't do that but i mm. did and then there were the other things that i just i just did it i just did it and i knew i was being guided and i knew i was i was being guided by the right things and i later 
I could tell all kinds of stories about my life. How come this? How come that? How come the other? Well, I don't know how come, but how I learned to deal with it and be that demonstration for my four children and all the stray kids they brought home to me. Hmm. And they're all healthy, happy, earning their own money, making their own way, being a difference for people. Um, it, my oldest daughter, I just have to say this, my oldest daughter is uh, known as the, the the person that will save the children hmm. from being uh, abused, be it by their parents or anybody else or the system. She is the, she's the one that stands for the kids. That's it. That's what she does. And that and I look at her and I go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? I, I know, she, you know, I'm a little bossy, but. Uh, <laughs> so, so when I hear all this beautiful, you know, things said about me, I'm going, okay, that's. I'm going to, I like what they're saying. I'm going to tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> you did hurt. You did hurt. Oh. I, that's it. That's it. And so, boy, leading the, leading the courses and all that was just so much fun for me. And I, and I work with, uh, have worked with bringing into existence another organization that is not in competition, but actually is a, uh, is is a, very 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 fond of of who we are and what we do, mm. and that uh, that makes a big difference because my goal is world peace, mm. and that is my goal. That's what I came here to do. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, uh, just to kind of because we. Mm -hmm. We wanted you to share a time when the uh, wind kind of got knocked out of your sails, and I, I, I remember a time. This mm -hmm. kind of this is called a memory jog, because <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Judy had so much. But um, uh, where uh, uh, and just to share with you, a lot of people really love and care about Judy, and if Judy goes for forty-eight hours without being in communication, believe me, alarms go off on the planet. Yeah. And there was a particular time that that happened. Yeah. Hmm. Would you mind sharing about that? I can share about that. It was a turning point in my life, that's for sure. I, um, I was, I started getting sick and sicker and sicker and sicker and sicker. And I, um, my, I was, I was married at the time and my husband was traveling and I was just, boy, I had no muffler, nothing to slow me down. I can get these projects done and get this and that and the other. And I just, I had, I, was, I had lots of people depending on me and I just didn't think about myself first. Not, not in my makeup. So when he came home, when my husband came home, I was just fresh out of the shower after a three day and night sleep on the floor. I was unconscious. Mm. And the fourth day he was coming back and I, well, that's when my eyes woke up and I pulled myself to the tub and got in it and went to see my doctor, Nellie Gross in Houston, Texas. I love that lady. And she, she saw me coming in and she said, oh my God, you have no chi. And I went, I know. She says, you're dying. And I said, I know, but you're not going to let me. 
So what do I do? And she says, you know, then she gave me the list. So I wound up moving to Pflugerville, Texas, getting a divorce, getting, uh, <laughs> getting all kinds of things, getting my health back. And I, uh, I, I could no longer leave those wonderful courses. I just was too sick and I just couldn't, I couldn't get on another airplane to save my life. Mm. So, so that I started the new life. It was, uh, I saw that I began to see, okay. So the things that like you put yourself first and take care of yourself first and take, you know, train them to take care of you. Uh, mm. and be and set up a partnership with the kids and set up a partnership with the husband set up a partnership with the friends so forth and that's what I have now I have friends for life uh, and it really was a lot of people that that uh, knew me in that time and witnessed that part of my journey they uh we're, we're still very close. We're very close. So for 30 years, I've had uh, just extraordinary, extraordinary opportunities for growth and development and learning what it is so I could be the demonstration to other people. I don't have to talk about it. I am mm. that that does. I, I do what I do. <laughs> and I and I and I'm always learning something new because I'm always making mistakes constantly. And, but I know like this little site on my computer says, I'm always safe and divinely protected and guided. I am. And I listen. And that's uh, part of my story. There's <laughs> part of my story. I have one other thing I just have to say. There's a, a something about being like I didn't wake up and say, okay, I'm going to be saint for the day. I'm not a saint. Uh, but I really can see that people pay attention to me. I've got some kind of something that God gave me. So I have to uh, be respectful of that. So when I had... 10 months to live, I actually found the right health professional who was also mm. the spiritual teacher who was also uh, not just a, he's not really a spiritual teacher. He's really a doctor and he's got, you know, he's got all kinds of, he is a healer, naturally, natural healer. And he does, he's his thing was world peace. And we're in the same age group. So there's, uh, there's somebody I can bounce things off of that allows me to then look at my own life. And I realize anytime I come up against something I have to do, I have to transform. That allows others a bigger chance at it there's a bigger something going on and so many people are just flying past me now in with their with their transformation and with their love and their appreciation and they're raising their families uh it for win-win and that's what that's what that's that's it. you know when i say world peace to people they go duh but i go how about win-win how about what if we lived in a world that's win-win all the way it's something to strive for. It's something, it's nothing to fight about. And I'm here to just close my eyes and find myself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all these wonderful things you put up there. Do what you want. <laughs> Love what you do. Yeah. And that's all my favorite stuff. So there it is. Simple. That's the secret. So thank you, Ronnie. I, I uh, may have overstepped something there, but that's just <laughs> uh, 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 As Diva Jacqueline always says, sis, wherever you are in the conversation, right. totally <laughs> perfect. It's exactly where it needs to be. Uh, like, I, I can be to... so bold. There is one little, you know, I got to give a plug for the feng shui because the feng shui is what got me really going as I as I I saw that there was a way that I could actually do something 
besides pray, but I can actually go, oh, wait a minute. When I do this, that does that. There's a cause and effect here. Well, so if we move this bed out here, okay, you're pregnant now. Ha, ha, ha. So we get to have a lot of <laughs> wonderful things like that going on. And so the feng shui, classical Chinese feng shui, go to energy, oh no, go to uh, fsrc.net and you'll find something about it there. Uh, 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 Nakia and her part, of, uh, she, she's going to get a little more into the feng shui part. But uh, wow. But, it, you know, just uh, not step over anything. Mm -hmm. uh, you had 10 months to live. That's right. Yeah. And, and people may have lost some of that. I didn't want them to step over that. That literally when mm -hmm. her husband came at, at home after the four day trip, uh, the uh, the answer machine was blowing up because she hadn't mm -hmm. communicated with anybody. And as it turns out, you had 10 months to live. Right. I don't get that that was like like, like a, 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 a twinkle your nose, because I used to watch a bewitch and things transformed. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no. I kind of I get the feeling that, that, that there, there was some deep stuff going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, but uh, <laughs> what we could do, but 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 Judy, I, I I do thank you for sharing. You you have to truly uh, uh, been inspiring, and it, it's just so wonderful that you exude this presence uh, uh, of a natural energy, and uh, I, I almost wanted to say 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 natural woman, uh, just you know shameless plug for the great queen of soul, Aretha Franklin. But uh, <laughs> it's almost yeah. that way, really, really. And, uh, but one thing I would like you to, to, to uh, we had uh, Diva Nikki spoke about healing. My body is a temple of divine life and light. Uh, would you please share anything that's, uh, uh, present for you with the listeners or any words of wisdom when it comes to the theme of healing when it uh, uh, as it relates to going beyond well-being it's uh, a realization one of the realizations that I, I i got to is that life is sacred my body is sacred my brain is sacred. I began, and and we've. I don't think. I, I know we've come a long way. We've come a long way as a as society and in a species is concerned uh, in the last seventy or so years. But there is that there there's something. Like I, I had to get that sick to get mm. it. I had to sleep. Mm. I had sleep is not for the dead. That's that's uh, that was in the sixties and seventies. Bring home the bacon, <laughs> you know that whole thing. And uh, and I did that, and I did, mm. uh, and I did uh, grew all the vegetables and made sure there was no poison on them and that kind of stuff. And uh worked three jobs. Most of those jobs I created. Mm. Um, really made sure that my four kids and the four kids that I married into and <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was a whole that was a whole thing. And there were some kids that dumped some paint in the pool and uh, so that began a whole other level of house cleaning and, and putting the kids to work and putting them to work in, in uh, places where they actually got paid money. And uh, when then the homeless came, well, then there was another, here was another challenge. So now I got to feed them too. All right, there's this whole acreage. We had acreage. And so they, they got to sleep out there in their sleeping blankets and 
all the things the tents and so forth that i kept a freezer full of food that was their food and the other freezer was my family's food I said, this is my family's food and this is your family's food so you get to eat that and uh and and there was no problem there was just so mm. many things that that came out about it there was a lot of work and a lot of uh you know a, a lot of that but it's and all of that contributed to my uh, willingness to, to stay alive. Mm. So there was no suicidal attempts and all that kind of stuff. No, <laughs> That's it. Yeah. no drama. It's like, well, clear, I want to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, don't wanna, yeah, I, 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 do, I will not send out a contradictory message. No, but I want the live part. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well. Well, well, Judy, uh, I could talk with you forever, but the Empress of Faith is tapping her stilettos. So uh, let me turn <laughs> the, the rest of the interview over to the Empress of Faith, Faith herself, Diva Nakia. Over to you. All right, all right, all right. Well, Miss Judy, oh my God, it's awesome to talk to you. So. I am Nakia, the Empress of Faith, and I will be continuing our interview with Miss Judy Morris on the second part of Going Beyond. Miss Judy, thank you for your sharing and your willingness to be open and authentic. Now, in this segment, we will learn more about Judy and some of the challenges she faces in having her work for feng shui present and alive for all people. Miss Judy, you with me? Yes, okay. So I right, think so you can hear your amazing voice. I'm going to ask you the question, but I just wanted to hear your voice and just make sure you were present with me in the moment. Absolutely. Oh. I just put you on, I was just on mute so I could really hear what I was trying oh, to awesome. figure out figure out what the wind noise is <laughs> sorry <laughs> no problem i got you okay so miss judy the first question i'm going to ask you is for you to please share it the aha moment when you knew in your heart of heart that being a world leader in feng shui was the thing for you to do that was um i that happened I was still in Houston and I was really bringing in, um, I was really after the feng shui. There weren't any teachers or any of that. So I found a little book, a book, it's almost like a booklet. And I got, and then I uh, started checking around. This was before we had, we didn't, we didn't have fax machines and we didn't have all of that kind of stuff. I mean, it's it pretty much we did a lot of stuff very the hard way and uh so but i i i said i have to find out i have to find out more and more and more so as a friend of, of one of my clients i was um i was a second life coach in houston texas and so i was that's that was my main main way of making money by that time and so i'm i had a client that had uh she was just she could get almost there almost there like get right up to the edge of success and everything would just crash and there was uh one of my clients came in and she says judy have you heard of the bulletin board service bbs and i went tell me about it and so she did and i went okay so that got me into getting getting to that's how i could reach out to the c the c beers and the all of that you know so i got into i got into those people that had abilities to talk to more people and then then she then i heard about feng shui mm -hmm. somebody somebody did so that uh, oh, then how the, uh, the story on that, that the this one of the ladies that was having so much trouble, she came to, she called me up 
and she says I need to see you and I said really great come on over and so she did she came in she and she drove up in her Mercedes she had the I mean dressed to the nines totally a big rock on her finger I mean I was getting jealous I'm going what she says oh you just caused this so much this was so great I listened to what you said and this is what <laughs> happened and I'm like I gotta do that for myself but I mean <laughs> so uh that was that's when I went clunk okay mm. so there's something about the environment that is really working. So I studied with um, uh, a lady on the East Coast for a while. And then I after that, I found I found real teachers with all oh, that. Yes, we got the Internet and there were two Asian masters that responded to my little email that says, I want to learn real feng shui. Hmm. Okay. Can you tell me, will you teach me? And one's in, they're, they're, they were in other countries. So, but I got to, I, I got to study with Joseph Yu, who is one of the top classical Chinese feng shui masters in the world. And, um, and he, so we built, I worked, he wanted to do a school. He was finally got all his family over from, from uh, China and has them. Um, safely in uh canada wow and that that uh that, that so you know i just became his student and it was expensive it cost a lot and all of that but it didn't you know it's like so what <laughs> you know we'll make more money so i got more more excited about making money and making money was my feng shui so i so I said, this is, this is world peace. This is it. This is, wow. yeah, this is a major thing that works. And so I've got lots and lots and lots and lots of success stories. And yeah, that, and so it works. And my, my, my health, well, I found the right people, the right doctors. I had my own house. I moved out of where I lived, I moved moved from Houston to Austin or Pflugerville. I love it in Pflugerville. And that I've built a whole community here that respects the feng shui that I do. I get a lot of, of uh, referrals. I don't have well, to advertise, but that well, I'm making Ms. Duty, yeah, Go ahead. Ms. Duty, before we go there, I don't want to step over how your action that you took by sending the email communication Mm -hmm. out to these leaders made the difference for you in receiving what it is that you set out that you declared for your mm -hmm. life with Feng yeah. Shui. Right. And how the woman in the Mercedes Benz, um, mm -hmm. who was completely dressed up in her pressing clothes mm -hmm. and was oh, declaring how you in your picture there. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. That threw me off. I'm sorry, Miss Judy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, huh, what? Uh, how the young lady stepped out of her vehicle and acknowledged you for mm -hmm. creating the opportunity and the space by your words and your actions That's to right. establish that relationship and that yeah. meeting. Yeah. And that catapulted you further. So I didn't want to step over that because that was, to me, very significant. Yeah, how so very, you taking those bold actions and steps made a difference for you to get to where you are today. That's Well, no guts, no glory. Come on. You know, we're going to. Because that was an aha moment, and you know, ha and and having those uh, the opportunity to study and practice under I can't remember the gentleman's name, but uh, the uh, who came Joseph over. You, yeah, Mr. You, Mr. You, absolutely. You know, I'm bad with names, so thank you, Miss Judy. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I appreciate that. I can truly appreciate that. And I wanted the I wanted to ask you another question. Um, what is feng shui? 
for our listening audience and our family who is not familiar with feng shui and what difference can it really make for people? Oh, it's a huge difference. So uh, most of the feng shui has become very popular in this country. Uh, and it's a lot, very much more popular in the UK. And I, um, I've got, so I've got to, I just got into it in a time that I could actually observe what's happening in the world. And I had okay. clients that flew me all over the place so I could do the feng shui for them. And I got to, so I, that, so I, all that's all about that little speech is, uh, pointing to planting seed to people, really okay. doing the feng shui at such a level that the people get it. They get it. Okay, but what, but what is feng shui? Break it it's, down in layman's term because a lot of people have no idea what feng shui is. Yeah, they it's know uh, it begin or how to find it or, or what it's about. What is the concept of it all? Okay. The concept of it all is to live in harmony. Mm. Wow. Okay. Get that. Mm -hmm. I got that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, how do you live in harmony and how does that make a difference for people by, by way of using feng shui? What yeah. What does it look like? Yeah. Paint a picture. Okay, I'll paint the picture. So um, every, you notice it, it, when you go down a street in your car and they're building another house. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it, <laughs> right. Or they repair another house or whatever, you know, it's all going on. And that, that, uh, there's it, everything is energy. Just let's put it. Uh, we'll get it in the physics terms, okay. because if everything is energy, and it's what kind of energy is it? This universe is made up of energy. Right. So the study uh, feng shui is the art and science of living well hmm. the art and science of how you develop your towns how do you develop uh big massive complexes of uh offices that's uh and that's currently my that's my current thing right there is to, to really get into the commercial and i live in a place that they understand that they understand that there's ways to things to plant to to build on and things to not build on and how do you save the how do you how do you save the environment so we as people as human beings uh we're either working with nature or we're working against it whether it's conscious or unconscious okay so feng shui is the art and science of living well hmm. okay so is this something only rich people can truly appreciate no or is it for you know the lay people is it for me <laughs> yeah not, it's for people. whoever wants it <laughs> whoever wants it right it's for whoever wants it and it's expensive I, my, my education costs me you know, a good seven figures. And that, that, um, there's no kidding. <laughs> so for the people that are not trying to get educated in it and have to spend the seven figures. They don't how, have to, they don't have to how, do it that way. Yeah. How can, how is it, how can they truly appreciate it without having to have the added expense or the expense? and still be able to partake in feng shui. Well, that's that's where we popularized it. And uh, so we, we, we being a lot of uh, uh, people that were in my school in the different countries and some of them in the United States, we, uh, we teach it. 
and we teach it on sliding scale. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. It's for everybody. And uh, yeah. And if people doubted, you know, then there's a, there are those things that uh, people doubted the pro they didn't, they didn't get it. The, that, oh, well, you know, you know, you want the money. I said, no, I, I'll do pro bono. So mm. I, I built not me personally, but I used the feng shui and had that with, um, an amazing low income housing development that we did in Austin that people have come all over the world to look at because people come in dying and they leave healthy wow. or they check out, but there's no suffering there. Well, see? okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, well, or they check out, but they're, hey, they're at peace with it. Okay. <laughs> that's good to know <laughs> so, so Ms. Yeah. Judy do you face any challenges in having people recognize and accept the value available to them from feng shui lots of them lots of it uh, lots mm -hmm. of it that's what gets me on these things and getting it out there and uh, still getting it but now it's caught on so so now it's not so much that, okay, that we've got books, we've got all kinds of, we've got the internet, we got all kinds of stuff. So what's valid and what isn't valid? That becomes the, the thing. Okay. okay. So, I get that. yeah. So it's not like, does it work? Yeah, it does. But is it, does it have consequences? And there's always action and consequences, right? Right, absolutely. Right. So there's a, a responsibility for it and to not to not get too much into the money. Yeah, some of these people are they they really do quite well. And they do I like to work for most of those clients because they are taking uh they're taking the information and they take the they take the support and having having they pay for their feng shui but that feng shui works it's like mm. okay it's this works mm. and if it doesn't work then i give you your money back wow okay so right? what are your biggest challenge oh yeah, absolutely <laughs> <laughs> but it's not learn so you know but it's not it's not difficult afterwards you know it's absolutely just, right so right. what are your biggest challenges as a world leader in feng shui um getting to the right people mm, yeah I getting get to, yeah getting to the right people there's uh yeah i'm i'm heard and taught heard about somebody oh in the austin area was like 20 years ago and uh and i thought well that's nice you know that's nice that he wants to save you know he's a con you know he wants to save save the whales in austin mm -hmm. texas and i'm you know really i love that stuff but it can get that can get wonky too it's got to be you know there's got to be a balance to all of it so right exactly right and um uh, so there's for a couple of decades, there's been a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with stuff. But now the technology that's coming in is allowing uh, all kinds of things to happen. So I've, as I ran, as I as I track what's happening, uh, I'm seeing a wonderful story coming out that's I think you know it's attracting now the right kind of people that. Yeah support and we've made enough difference i mean we got we we've there's been a lot of us that are you know just going out and we're working with the builders or we're working yeah. with you know these different the different things just to get the it's not it's not about the money it's to and it takes money to run a business absolutely so I that's it mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the that's the balancing act. There is it hard? No, it's just not uh, 
forthcoming. Right. Okay. So if you don't mind, would you please share with us a few practices? And thank you so much for sharing because Mm -hmm. we can really get an understanding and some clarity behind feng shui, um, what your, your practices are and, you know, be Mm -hmm. able to, um, want to investigate and, and, and possibly even get involved and find out more definitely. So would you please share with us a few practices you use daily to keep going beyond well-being, staying in action, and mm-hmm. focus on the results you intend to produce? Mm-hmm. Well, that is essential. To success, period. So, so using the feng shui, you want to have. So, what's the what's the purpose of your home? That's the first place to go, because all homes are not equal. They're not. Uh, they're not set up. I've seen more uh, abundance go to people who don't have really fancy homes. Mm, wow. Okay. But they're well done. Mm. You ever walk up to a house and you go, wow, that house is 80, 90 years old. It's not, and it's, and it's in USA. It's not like, (laughs) you know, (laughs) it's not like Europe at all, Mm -hmm. but boy, they're putting new logs in the walls and doing all those kinds of things. And, and uh, so there's some that's feng shui there's something in there there are there are points that you there are no rules what there are is this energy resides in these locations in the house and it all depends on a mathematical equation and then where where are the trees and where are the streets and where where all of that so that's um That's the difference between a feng shui house and and one that isn't. Uh, okay. I, but, yeah. But but but, but I wanted to know um, a few practices that you use daily to oh, keep I, going beyond well being. Yeah, keep the dust levels down. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> You got to stay on top of it. I got it. Okay. So it keeps, yeah. and that definitely will keep you staying in action and focused on the results you intend exactly. to produce, which is exactly. keeping the dust down. Keep okay. Dust so, down. <laughs> awesome. What do you have on your plate? And how can our participants learn more about the projects and activities that you're involved with? Well, right now, I'm. Uh, Involved with a brand new project that's just rolling out of the rolling out of the ding, and I'm like, I, oh my god, I can't talk about that one yet. Um, <laughs> okay, but tell, tell okay. us about, tell us about so, something that so let me talk give, about Julie. Here, I'm going to give you, I want to give you something that you can take home with you. All of the okay. listeners here can take home with you. So you, you keep your front door closed as much as possible. And find out, uh, there's, a, there's a book still, in, it's not in print, but uh, Master Yu, my teacher, wrote it with two other people, uh, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Feng Shui. Okay. And you can get that third edition. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can, I think Amazon has them. Okay. That is, it's got, it's got really good, all the calculations and the, how to figure out what is, what is good, what's auspicious and what is not. And um, so that's one, another, uh, so you want, you want to have good, chi, good chi, good energy at your front door. You want to have good chi at the entrance from your garage. Mm-hmm. You want to have you want to have good chi in the back of the house. You want to have the water in the appro- water features in the appropriate places. And that book will do that. And there's also uh, I'm I'm trying to set up a 
a, a kind of call in. I'm going to, I'm building a new website. So I'm going to put a lot of things on that website that's free. Okay. That will <laughs> allow you to, you know, to, to do it, to do it yourself without getting in a lot of trouble because the books are, there's a lot of conflict. It's still, you know, it's just, that's just the way it is. So. Well, we're going to get, it, make sure that we share your contact information as well as your website right. information. If it's not up yet, we will definitely gain access to that. So we can put it on our site, mm -hmm. um, the Prosperous mm -hmm. Diva site. And I'm sure Ronnie B will um, be happy to make sure that we're able to right. support you in your endeavors. So, and it, Julie, I know, oh, go, go ahead. Yeah, if you have a question and you can't get, can't get to the website uh, or something, you can call me. Awesome, okay. Or you Absolutely. can text me, yeah. Okay. And I'm, well, we will definitely do that. I'm happy to, happy to do that because it's just too complex to really chat about on a radio show, although I love doing <laughs> it anyway. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you, Miss Judy, and we just honor your authenticity, your passion, your courage, your boldness, and your stand for the people and their centeredness, their whole mm -hmm. being. And um, I definitely know that we can continue on talking, but we're going to move forward and forward the conversation so we can get back on track for the sake of time. And thank you again, Ms. Judy. We're going to hear from the Prosperous Divas at this time. Diva Robin, is there anything you would like to share? Very briefly, I just want to say that I have known Judy for many years and have seen her struggle and breakthrough and struggle and break through <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, and every time at like a bigger level, you know, <laughs> and, um, and um, Judy, I just want to acknowledge you for your heart and your commitment and um, your magnificence. And thank you so much for being with us. Wow. Thank you very much. And I've got to jump and run because I have to lead a call in. A few minutes, but uh, awesome. And and we're we'll we'll um, if you can stay um, definitely for a few more minutes. If not, Miss um, Judy, I totally understand. Miss um, Janice, is there anything that you'd like to share with us? Yes, uh, very briefly. I admire the fact that she delved into the hard stuff. You know, those little lucky moments in life that could have wiped her out, most certainly with the health condition. And just having, even though she didn't talk about it more in depth, but I know there were conversations going on between you and God about your purpose. And there was a fight within that's present to my ear that you knew there was something else that you needed to survive for. There were people assigned to you that you needed to survive for so that uh -huh. they can get what you have. And I I just, I heard that, even though it wasn't articulated as such, but I yes. heard that. The message got through. That. Thank you. Yeah, I heard wow. that. You're very welcome. Thank you so much, Janice, for that. Um, Diva Jacqueline, if you have anything that you'd like to share. I just want to give my appreciation to Ms. Judy for being on today and having this conversation with us and giving Given us some insight on on shui because I've heard it before, but I had no idea <laughs> what it really um, meant. Awesome! Thank you Thank for you. Uh, coming and speaking with us today. Thank you so much, Diva Jacqueline. Diva You're Nikki, welcome. is there anything you would like to share, Diva Nikki? Okay, Diva Nikki, you gotta get No, I was muting. No, I was muting. I too want to honor Judy for her sharing, for being with us, and for sharing her trial and her courage, her story of courage with reaching out to those leaders and being determined and finding their purpose. 
and for sharing the nuggets that you could share with us. I thank you so much for that, and we're going to continue to honor your time as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Diva. So uh, thanks, Divas, again. And Miss Judy, I would like to say again, just acknowledging you for your stand, acknowledging you for being who, who you were created and designed to be, fulfilling your purpose in this world, and having a stand. And thank you so much for your wisdom, for your, your presence, for um, your desire to give back to the world as you are being fed into and continuing to feed to all classes, to all economic backgrounds, and just really making feng shui available for so many people. And we honor you. And thank you again for your time. If We know that you have to leave. You have other things, commitments, and um, we appreciate you, okay? So, of course, we would love for you to stay, and we do understand if you need to leave, given your commitments, and we truly, truly appreciate you being here. Is there anything you would like to say before you, you leave us? Go forth and feng shui the world, okay? Get on the phone, get on the get on get on your computer and look it up and go to go to go to different places. Don't don't uh don't, don't believe everything you read, but go. You're wise enough that it'll trigger something for you. Mm. And if you're, you're listening to it, it's like, it, I, I didn't find going feng shui. What the heck is that? So, <laughs> <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> and it's thousands of years old and it's got all kinds of wonderful things that are happening in there. And so to become a connoisseur of it in any, any way you go with it, but just really call me if you need anything thank you yes, ma'am we love you miss judy we thank you, yeah. we honor you and go forward in feng shui okay now listeners we're going to take a five minute break when we return diva robin with our with my D, oh, <laughs> we're going to take that five minute break when we return diva robin with my energy integrity power builder and the finale so Thank you for listening. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more. Your good fortune. You cannot possibly be aware of all the things you have to be thankful for. But don't let that stop you from trying. There are many factors that add great value to your life that you'll never know about. You are the beneficiary of thousands of years of cumulative progress. Most of the details of how that progress was made have been lost to history, yet the benefits of that progress continue to this day and are always growing. Be thankful for all the things you know to be thankful for, and be thankful for all those good things that make life better that you don't even know about. Sure, there are still many difficult problems, challenges, and tragedies. Yet, those negative things occur within an overall context of goodness, possibility, and great opportunity. Gratitude enables you to experience more of that goodness, to access more opportunities. Be thankful and reap the full benefit of good fortune that's been coming your way longer than you can imagine. <laughs> you 
Starting up in about 30 seconds. So uh, if you needed to grab that glass of water, now might be a good time to do that. Um, while again, uh, if you're just tuning in, remember that you can get a download. You do want the uh, the first two segments of tonight's webinar. Uh, they will blow your mind. And for many of you, you need that mind blown so that you can create a mind that's worthy. <laughs> you are. <laughs> remember, so your I think mind, we, we all yeah, need our minds blown from time to time. Yeah, you have a mind. The mind does not have you. And with that, Diva Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi, welcome back. We are going to review the basic building blocks of energy. Interesting after the conversation with Judy, isn't it? The building blocks of energy and chance and transformation. Uh, excuse me, the building block of energy and transformation, which is my absolute favorite topic, integrity. Before we review, here is our empowerment message. Higher version of reality. Allow all to be right with life right now. It's not really so hard to do. You cannot change anything about what has already happened. So choose to let it be. The moment may not seem perfect, yet it's the one you have. So recognize its perfection in being as it is. Allowing all to be right with life is not a matter of being naive or denying reality. Indeed, it is the acknowledgement of a higher version of reality. In every difficulty is the opportunity to give love, to offer hope, to engage in positive effort. In every challenge are real possibilities for progress and new value. Allow all to be right with life and connect yourself with those possibilities. See today from a higher perspective and expand upon the goodness that's already present. Fix your awareness on a higher version of reality in which all is right with life. Let yourself be energized to make a positive difference in everything you do. 
we are going to borrow a distinction for integrity that we align with. Integrity, the state of being whole and complete. And I encourage you to listen to this through the context that was just created about keeping your awareness on a higher version of reality. So integrity, we're saying, is the state of being whole and complete, honoring one's word as oneself. Going beyond well-being at a basic level requires extraordinary integrity. In going beyond well-being, we want to be relentless in our pursuit to find areas where the integrity is going out or leaking. So what's the first thing we normally want to do? We want to congratulate ourselves on where we have integrity. But in going beyond well-being, our relentless, oh, sorry, <laughs> our relentless pursuit must be to find the areas where integrity is going out, leaking, or lacking. One way we can accept, access the leaks is to look at where we have complaints that will not disappear. So, guess what? We have an assignment. Yippee! <laughs> so here we go with the assignment. This will assist you with integrity. You're going to create the following categories. The first one is self-expression. The second one is wholeness. The third one and last is prosperity. So the three categories are self-expression, wholeness, and prosperity. Under each category, you are going to answer this question. What do I desire that I do not have or is not at the level of fulfillment that I seek? Again, what do I desire that I do not have or is not at the level of fulfillment I seek? That's the first thing. Next, under each response, answer this question. What have I been resisting, putting up with, trying to change, or have given up anything ever happening, and about which I complain or suffer in silence? By the way, suffering in silence is a form of complaining, if you haven't figured that out yet. So, what have I been resisting, putting up with, trying to change, or have given up anything ever happening and I'm complaining about it or suffering in silence. So you are going to keep a daily log or post daily on Facebook any results or insights and please, please share with the Prosperous Divas. And speaking of the Prosperous Divas, our next diva that you're going to hear from is Diva Nikki. So Diva Nikki, over to you, dear one. Unmute yourself, love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you we, so I much. Think, I think we should, <laughs> well, I think we're going to have to put a mute prohibition on. <laughs> <laughs> a prompter on the mute. <laughs> Thank you, Diva Robin. Mm, thank well, you. of course, you're welcome. Of course, this has been an awesome session. So before we go, let me check in with the divas and get their final thoughts about this session. Diva Janice, would you please share your thoughts? Tonight, as usual, uh, it's just it's reflective of the transformation we are all experiencing in real time and how we get a chance to impact others 
and it's just divine. It's just a good thing, you know. It's just one of those good feelings because we're doing great work, and through our struggle, we're helping others to find their courage to be authentic and to live their best life. So that's what's present for me, and I'm just grateful to be a part of the conversation. Awesome. Thank you so much, Diva Janice. Diva Jacqueline, unmute yourself and tell us your final thoughts, please. <laughs> Beautiful. I am here. Brilliant. That is brilliant. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, just being presently aware of how much control that I have over what I can create. I just being more aware and paying attention to the declarations that I'm making about what's possible for me. So I feel like we have been sharing a lot of that today. And then also um, speaking with Judy and um, getting more insight about Hon Shui. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you. Diva Nakia, oh. Empress of Faith, yeah. unmute yourself, come out of stealth mode. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I love y'all. So um, I continue to be more and more present to the importance of me being centered, my health and well being. And me living my best life ever, how discontent I am with my present and current situation. Not that there's something wrong about it, not that it's necessarily something right about it, but that it can be better, that I can improve upon it, build upon it, and expand on it. How I can release, let go, move on from the past and from the things that continue to crowd my space and keep my blinders on and my yellow sunglasses on and preventing me from seeing things clearly. So this conversation forwards my awareness. And I've actually been in action. <laughs> During our session, and uh, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. important to me. And regardless of my physical health and me being able to say I'm tired or I know I have another conference call to deal with in a little while, I need to rest. I've been on my feet all day. I'm exhausted because there's something in it. It is keeps me awake and alive in and allows me to take the action that's necessary so I can live my best life and make that also available to my son and to all those who encounter me. Because without me taking care of me, then I can't take care of anyone else. So that is what's present for me. Thank you, Diva Nakia. I was going to say, did you have to unmute? <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Diva Robin. <laughs> as you can hear, I'm already unmuted. I'm, like, taking it yes. on as a mission. Like, it's a mission that that I, at least I, will be unmuted when I, when I'm, when it's time for me to talk. <laughs> so first first of all, I just want to say how grateful I am to be part of this family of divas and Ronnie B and the family of all of our wonderful listeners and um really to be a tiny voice in the whole family of human beings and all of life. And it's amazing to hear that our work is making a difference in the lives of the people who are speaking with. And of course, so much fun that it's making a difference for us as well. 
So please keep writing to us and sharing your triumphs and your challenges. And I just want to say regarding Judy that, you know, we really, really do go back a long time. In fact, um, there was a period of time when I was working in her house right after I moved to where I live. I was working um, with her husband in their home office. So I, you know, I've had the opportunity to really get to know Judy well over the years and to have the privilege of her having feng shuied my space. And I and um, it really does make a big difference. And Judy herself is a master. I mean, I think she may even have the title master. So anyway, anyone who's interested, that's my only recommendation. US, the only U.S. master. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 only female and the only U.S. master. Period. Yes, yeah, she, she's no joke. <laughs> <laughs> Judy is no joke of anything she takes on. She does it 100% and, you know, with full, what do you say, like, I can't think of the right expression, but you know what I mean. Yeah, just really fully. And it's really great that she took time with us. And that's all I have at the moment. Thank you so much. Bye, well, I'm unmuted, and <laughs> a couple of things. And uh, now, <clears throat> I, I just want to say that um, uh, to the participants and really to everyone, because Diva Janice gave a true structural nugget. Now, note I said mm -hmm. that you know I, you need to. I, I don't say you need to, but if you if you Hear what I am actually saying, the words, structural. And she, she just gave just, just a great nugget. And uh, start your week creating the week. End the week acknowledging how it went. Those two actions in themselves, if you just take on those two practices, you'll be living beyond well-being. Those two practices, they're not complicated. Those, so I, didn't, I don't want you to miss that nugget. Just rewind the tape, listen to everything she said. Create your week. End of the week. Look what you did. Acknowledge it. And if you are 100% your word, you know, do a dance. And if you weren't, do a dance and be 100% the next week. But know where you are. Uh, the second thing is, is that, uh, oh, God, Diva Nakia uh, just really loved uh, the way you managed the interview. And mm -hmm. uh, with a subject that is not, uh, I'll just say typical, it was beyond. So we had Russell with, uh, with energy and, and Judy with feng shui. And mm -hmm. for many, these are beyond uh, our normal constructs. But that's what prosperous divas be doing. You know, that's why we mm -hmm. got a prosperous diva who... Uh, she said uh, that 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 guy that that, that basketball guy uh, Lamar Ball. She said, "No, move aside. I'm gonna be the billionaire, billion, billion, billions. I'm with her." Now, uh, <laughs> and um, but the uh, I do want to say this that um, this work can be challenging. It doesn't have to be. It can be. Many times the experience is, is that it is challenging. And that's okay. And each and every one of us, and that that's the the prosperous divas myself, uh, we're bumping up against it with you. Well, it does not discriminate because we're doing the work. And whenever you're expanding instead of contracting, you're doing some work. You're breaking up some stuff, and there's natural resistance. Uh, 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 a couple of the, the divas and I, we're working on some training so that we can be more effective in producing results and having these uh, webinars be better. 
and it's whooping our behinds. <laughs> we're bumping up against stuff. We're like, uh, you know, and it's like we're the worst coaches, you know. <laughs> like we we pity the coach, you know, <laughs> having to deal with us. So we we understand and we get where everyone is at. And uh, you're at everyone is at the right place at the right time for who they are. So that's what I'm present to. Back to you, Diva Nikki. Thank you. I'd like to say that this has just been absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Okay. <coughs> We honor each person, and I had to clear my throat, excuse me. We honor each person participating in our seminar. We know if you are listening to us and doing the work, you are forwarding the day when all women can live to their fullest potential, fully self-expressed and with the dignity they deserve. We honor the challenges you face, whether it is being a great mom, are opening your first business. Your courage and determination keeps us strong. Your sharing has us stay straight and to do the work. Now we have some structures for existence. A couple of ways for you to stay in the conversation with the diva for living wealthy beyond well-being, the fun begins. Number one, being at our next session, which is living wealthy beyond well-being, the fun begins session five. Sunday, August 26, 5 o'clock p.m. to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Visit us at prosperousdivas.com and receive our free four-point series, recognizing winning conversations that no longer work. Visiting PropertyDivas.com and receiving Diva Inspiration, a weekly newsletter with insights into the world of proper seeking from Diva Nikki, that's me, Diva Nikia, and Diva Jackie. Also, visiting us on Facebook and posting at Facebook.com forward slash Proper Diva. Diva Jackie, how would you like people to learn more about your activities? Thank you, Diva Nikki, for providing me the opportunity to share. Um, you can visit me at my website at Mind Rights, that's M I N D W R I T E S, the number 365.com. That's Mind Rights 365.com. Um, available on Facebook most active right now on Instagram, but I finally joined Twitter. So I'm I'm gonna soon get active with that. Um and also YouTube. So check out some of the videos or you can contact me directly. I have books available on Amazon, also on my website. Thank you. Thank you. Diva Janice, what is happening at PowerForNow.com? Well, thank you for asking. Currently, we're getting our backpack because we're going to Beijing, China tomorrow uh, for the literary fair. So we'll be flying out tomorrow in conjunction <laughs> with the Hollis. <laughs> yeah. With the, with the Hollis. <laughs> Listen, we're going over to represent at the International Literary Fair in Beijing uh, with my publishing wow. firm, the Hollis Media Group. And we're looking forward to bringing some success home to the authors Yay. that allow us to to serve them. And most certainly, I would love to hear from your audience. Those of you who are authors, we can help put you at an, at another plat on another platform. And you can reach me at Hollis Media dot net. That's hollismedia.net. And I look forward to sharing stories of success when we get back in a few days. 
And it's been wonderful. Thank you. Bring home the gold. Okay. Bring home the gold. Yeah. I know that. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Diva Dennis. You can visit Nakia, the Empress of Faith, at appointedtimeforyou.com and Empress. What else uh, do you uh, want Diva for Nikki, people to know? I have to, make a, I have to make an announcement around the website for appointedtimeforyou.com. If you go there right now, it is down. We And, and I'm going to explain to you why it's down. It's down because of of Diva Nakia's own words. That's right. <laughs> huh? What? It is, yep, her website is down because of her own words. At the last session, she said what, what her business was about. And guess what? The website was not consistent with that, with what she said, and, and it went down. So now we are building a new website for her that is consistent okay. with what she says. So I tell you, because I'm looking up and, and, and they call us and they go, well, your website's down and our server died. You're going to have to rebuild everything. And I'm like, what the? <laughs> Do you mean? Because we don't have backups. So, no, you're going to have to. Sorry. You're going to have to build it back up from scratch. And I realized, I said, oh, God, we got to do all that work. And I said, you know what? The website doesn't match what she just said. She just caused a whole server to go down. Mm -hmm. So that we would have to get that website right. And uh, it will, the new appointed time for you.com will be up and running by the next session. Okay. We got, it. we got it. Reentry services. We got it. Check. Speaking. <laughs> I get out there and speak with folks. Hi. I'm the Empress of Faith. <laughs> <laughs> Check. Financial services for you. Bring the money. We got a cup. <laughs> All right. Back to you, Diva Nikki. <laughs> Infrastructure faith, is there anything else you want the people to know about your activity, what you're working on? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, well, just be prepared for mm. the Empress of Faith, a point in time for you, financial services, and all of the activity and access that will be made available to you and how you will be able to transform your life through the engagement, the interaction, and the action that you choose to take upon your declaration for your life as I have for mine. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. Watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie B. Very just kidding. Diva, <laughs> Diva Robin, any of I'm unmuted. On your new book? <laughs> I know, I heard you. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Yes, actually, there's stuff happening with two of my books. Mm. One is about, is, um, about one of my coaching clients' transformational journey through coaching that I did with her, entitled <clears throat> "I Was Never Broken," and it's it's um, we've already turned the manuscript over to the publisher and just need to tie up a few loose ends and to get the layout done and get the publishing done. So uh, I was never broken. As for my art savvy 101 book, I now have a brilliant organizational editor and writer who also happens to be my best friend, partnering with me to get the work, the book into shape. And it's one of those things where the universe totally provided. And this seems, it's just happening all over the place right now, like an mm. upsurge. And I'm in conversation with a software developer to create a companion app, like a smartphone app for the book, so that it's something people can take with them when they visit galleries and museums. 
So the mun- the universe is delivering. And as for my artwork, um, I have two big art projects in the works, and a few of my pieces will be shown in September in San Francisco. And um, so a lot of a lot of projects are really coming to fruition or being you know really well on their way. And so to reach me for anything, artwork, coaching, if stuff like that. Um, email me at robinartist at gmail.com. I also have a Facebook page, Robin Goldfarb Jameson, and my artwork can be seen on uh, my website, which is robinjameson.com. And that's it for me. Awesome. Thank you. Ronnie B? Ogrumpyradio.com. (laughs) <laughs> Nikki. Yes, yes, Empress, yes. Well, I also wanted to acknowledge the fact that the Prosperous Divas do have a Twitter account. And um, I can also be reached via Twitter, Nikia Franklin, Nikia underscore Franklin. Well, Nikia Franklin at Nikia underscore Franklin on Twitter. And we also have a Facebook page. So if you don't mind, Nikki, you can – I didn't want to overlook that because you, uh, my beautiful, beautiful, amazing sister, has elevated us to another level. So we want our participants and our family and our listeners to be able to really reach out to us and engage. Well, thank you. I was just about to get into that. So, yes, you can also now follow us on Twitter at Divas Prosperous is our handle. We would love to hear from you with your questions, insights, or whatever you would like to share. You can check us out there. And as stated previously, Facebook.com forward slash Prosperous Divas. You can connect with me also on Facebook at Ms. Mothpreneur Nikki. Nikki Chaplin, and on Twitter as Miss Motherpreneur Nikki as well. For more information about workshops and seminars, visit us at ProsperousDivas.com. Now, tonight's Prosperous Divas were none other than our very special guest, Judy Morris, the Fun Shui Master, Fun Shui Master. Jacqueline Brown, Janice Hollis, Robin Jamison, Nakia Franklin, and of course, Nikki Taplin. And our Prosperous Devo slash Jan Ronnie B. Please enjoy the performance at the end of the seminar tonight. And remember, Prosperous Diva says that prosperity is a mindset that can be created by anyone. Do the work, and we'll see you next week. Have a blessed.